Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the Hollis Katana 2 side mount BCD. So this is a, a modern style side mount BCD. Uh, it's a one size fits all wraparound style uh, bladder. And yeah, it, it's really designed with a lot of input from a lot of cave divers and side mount divers to make one BCD that should fit almost anybody and have everything that you could possibly use or want so yeah it's a very tough bcd let's take a closer look okay so this is what you get uh, so it comes in a reusable bag which is quite nice it's got a mesh uh, bottom as well so if you're putting stuff inside it wet it can drain out of the bottom which is really nice um pull tie drawstring opening and then on the inside You get the BCD um, pretty well fully assembled from what I can see. Um, you also get a bag of hardware, uh, a sternum strap, two T sliders, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, two two inch T sliders, stainless quick links and two inch welded D rings for the chest, a pair of those. Um, so you get a bag of additional uh, sort of bits and bobs. I'll show you those in a second. Um, and then, yeah, the, uh, the BCD pretty well fully assembled. You've got the bungee attached onto the inflator already. Um, so yeah, let's delve in here. Uh, if I just undo this knot quickly. Okay. So that'll be your chest strap. Um, so one way adjustable and then um, you get sort of D-rings either side of that, pinch clip in the center. A pair of quick links. Um, so for your bungees, you just have these uh, sort of quick links. A pair of those and a pair of pre-bent metal D-rings welded onto tri-gliders as well. Um, so yeah, so those are all the extras that you get with it. Uh, yeah, let's have a quick look around the BCD itself. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the BCD itself. So starting on the back, um, so on your right hand side, you have a blanking plug. So this is just if you want your inflator coming in underneath the right hand side, you can swap that one over to the uh, to the right hand side. But when you're not using it, obviously you have to blank it off. The uh, the bladder of the BCD is a wraparound bladder, so it is shaped a bit like a diamond. I think it's a trapezoid. They uh, they call it. Um, but on the uh, on the sides, and you'll probably be able to see it a little bit better when I flip it over. Uh, you do have these attachment points. These are bungeed. Um, you've got one on both sides with a stainless steel bolt snap to wrap it around in front of you, um, so that the bladder naturally wraps around your body. In the smaller year back, you have a low profile stainless steel D ring. All of this is protected by an external, pretty tough uh, outer shell, this, uh, this nylon cordura material. The main section across the top, all of this is protected by a plastic sheet. So that way, if you're swimming in an overhead environment and you bump up against something on the ceiling, then it's gonna have to be pretty sharp to get through this nylon cordura through the plastic underneath it and then get through to the bladder and that continues all the way down towards the uh, to the bottom so all of this section here is all protected this kind of armored um, sort of shell over the top <clears throat> On the other side, you can see we have another stainless steel D-ring, a low profile D-ring, and then on the left hand side, very much the same, except this one has that inflator. Um, the inflator itself is a sort of oval shape, so when it's actually wrapped up against your body, it naturally kind of is that bit more low profile, but still having plenty of airflow. Comes with a, uh, a quick inflate, uh, or sorry, a quick release inflator hose, and then just a very traditional K style inflator. And it comes with a, a bungee attachment point, and again, another stainless steel bolt snap. Um, turning it over. Okay, so lots to look at. If we start at the top, so <clears throat> over your right hand shoulder, 
you have a standard two inch webbing strap and a pre-bent metal D-ring on that. Um, just below that you have a tri-glider and then that has a attachment loop that then leads to your bungees. Your bungee can be moved up and down depending on where you prefer it. The um, Everything about this harness can be adjusted. It is a true sort of one size fits all. And because it's traditional two inch webbing, you can put whatever you want pretty much wherever you want it to. So if you do want to move that a little bit further down to fit your body shape, then you can do that. The other end of the bungee loop, it hooks underneath one of these uh, sort of molly style straps, but you do have a third one if you did want to move it a little bit further down or widen it or do whatever you want to it. And then that attaches to um, sort of the back plates is probably the best way to describe it. And you can um, sort of just tie it on and adjust the length accordingly. Up in the middle, <clears throat> we have a pull dump over pressure valve right in the kind of the um, uh, sort of just below your neck and uh, and then that has a cord that leads and follows down your left hand shoulder to a pull dump on your left hand shoulder strap. This one has a little sleeve um, to protect that cord and just keep it in the right position but if you don't want it then you could remove it. Very similar to uh, to the right hand strap, pre-bent D-ring, you can move that. Tri-glider that's attaching onto bungees, you can move that if you so wish. Okay, underneath the uh, the back plates, you can see we have a quick fit system. Uh, well, the quick fit system is more this section here. I'll show you that in a little section uh, or in a little bit. But underneath here, you actually have some weight pockets. Uh, so these are Velcroed and um, and it just means that you can get to the, uh, the lead when you're setting up and just load it up quite quickly and easily. And then you can move it up into this pouch further up or move it further down, depending on where you want the lead down your spine, you can move it further up or further down. This is, uh, is sort of semi-rigid and this has got plastic inside of it. So that just protects it from uh, sort of digging into your back as well. Either side, we have these webbing uh, attachment points. Uh, there's another one a little bit further down in the uh, small of your back. So again, if you want to attach anything, you do have these sort of internal D-rings as such uh, to clip things off onto there. Further down, looking at the uh, the quick fit system. So this is how the shoulder straps and the waistband can be adjusted for height. So this section that sits in the small of your back, so this is padded to protect you from all of this uh, sort of metal hardware going on and uh, it's sort of digging into your hips too much. It's padded so it's comfortable. You have uh, sort of four more attachment points, but you have this section which is Velcro. And that, if you can see, it just threads through these uh, sort of webbing straps here, and then you can move them up or down depending on your height and just make it nice and comfortable. Just underneath that, if you can just see quickly, <clears throat> you have that lower attachment point, that section of webbing, and then you also have an access point to get to your bladder, just in case uh, there's a puncture or something that you wanna check out, uh, you can get into that and, uh, and check that out. Putting that back into position and Velcro it down. Further down in the small of your back, going to the waistband. So in the small of your back, you have this big square D-ring attachment point to attach whatever you want behind you. Um, if it is the uh, the bottom of your tanks, then great. Um, but yeah, very strong, very uh, sort of resilient, and uh, they are fixed in position. But you, again, you can move those if you so wish. Low profile D-ring on the left hand side, so you can clip things off onto that. Traditional waistband with a quick release weight bolt style uh, buckle on that. And then the right side just mirrors the left hand side, low profile D-ring and a big square. You do have in the small of your back a uh, another D-ring uh, on your crotch strap. Again, fully adjustable. This is a softer uh, webbing compared to the, the webbing around your uh, your the rest of your harness, so it's, it's, it's a bit kinder in your crotch. Uh, and then over the front, again, you have a, uh, a metal D-ring, and then that loops over the waistband. So if you're using a DPV, you can clip it off onto that, and then it will pull you along. Um, so yeah, all in all, 
everything that you need for a side mount BCD. You've got those extras as well if you want to add additional features or adjust and change the way that your harness is set up. So, but yeah, straight out of the box, it is pretty well ready to dive. All you have to do is just adjust it for your particular size and then shorten any straps. Okay, so that's the Hollis Katana 2 BCD, a side mount specific BCD. So if you're thinking about getting into side mount, then this is definitely the, something that you should at least consider because you it is dedicated for side mount. One size fits all, so you don't have to worry about getting the right size. You just adjust each of those straps so it's perfectly comfortable. It has pretty much everything that you would need for a side mount BCD. Integrated weights down the spine so you can control your trim. Has that tough bladder on the back, that reinforced section on the back as well if you're diving in overhead environments. Uh, yeah, it ticks a lot of boxes for side mount divers. There's going to be far more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's going to be a link down in the description below to see that. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving. Oh,